Want to support the channel? Go check out my Patreon. There's perks like access to videos early and plenty more rewards. Every contribution is appreciated as it keeps me making great content for you guys. For more information, go to patreon.com slash Macwell. Aston Villa. Not much happened until the 65th minute of this match. It is Aston Villa on the attack through Nakamba as he passes it to Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins to Douglas Luiz. He just slips past Fofana, takes the shot, and Strakosha making the save. Now it's a low cross whipped in for Jack Grealish. He passes it to Duarte. Now to Ollie Watkins. And a little bit of a link up between the three players makes it 1 0 to Aston Villa. A little bit later, Aston Villa with another opportunity. This time it's dealt with by Fofana. Now it's Pedrosa to Ndidi. Yori Tielemans lobs this one up to Minamino and Minamino gets a bit of a touch and Aston Villa defender makes the mistake and now this ball falls right to Alexander Izak's feet and he's gonna finish this one easily. Just like that, we've equalized. Leicester City with a free kick with time expiring. It's Yuri Tielemans receiving it. He passes it to Wilfred Ndidi. Ndidi out to Minamino on the wing. Minamino brings it back to Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans then sees Alexander Izak. No one really making a run. Then he finally finds James Madison. Madison then just dribbles a bit, waits for a run. It's Alexander Izak on this one and Alexander Izak turns this one around for us another three points we didn't see coming and Alexander Izak continues his great form West Brom <sighs> just cue the montage And now, the FA Cup semi-finals against Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday on the attack early on into this one. It's Harris as he crosses one, and it only goes to Pratt, though. And now Pratt starts up a counter-attack for Leicester City. It is Alexander Izak as he gets a lovely ball to Takumi Minamino. Minamino with some space to run into, using those little afterburners, as he finds Alexander Izak with a lovely ball right down the middle, and it's 1-0 to Leicester City, just like that. And in comes Sheffield Wednesday once again. It's Adam Reach. He passes this one to Harris, now back to Reach. Reach lobs it up to Harris, and now Harris with some space to run into. He fools Fofana, Fofana blocks him, but then he gets the ball back somehow. Castagna tries to push him off, doesn't work out, and then he leaves that one off for Adam Reach, who puts it into the back of the net, and now it's equalized at Wembley. Into the second half now, Leicester City with another opportunity. It's James Glover, he passes it to Alexander Izak, now to Dennis Pratt. Dennis Pratt nowhere to go, but he then sees the run of Alexander Izak. It's a beautiful ball to him, and that is a fantastic finish right in the near post 2-1 to Leicester City can we hold on to this lead a little bit later it's James Justin dispossessing the Sheffield Wednesday attacker and now it begins the old signature Leicester City counter-attack. It's Potence. Now to Alexander Izak. Izak to Dennis Pratt, but Dennis Pratt just not fast enough to get past the defender, so he just brings it to Alexander Izak. Outside the box, a mean deflection puts that one into the back of the net. It still counts as a hat-trick for Alexander Izak, and it looks like we're going to be advancing to the finals. But this one wasn't done yet. It's the Sus King once again to James Glover. James Glover back to the Sus King, and Daniel Potence, as he runs into the box, crosses this one in for, of course, it's Alexander Izak, who has four goals to his name in the FA Cup semifinals. Absolutely phenomenal. And so, with that victory, we'll be facing Liverpool in the FA Cup final. And speaking of Liverpool, we also faced them in the Champions League semifinals. And so, King Power Stadium hosts the first leg of the Champions League semifinals. It's Liverpool. Let's get into this one. And first chance goes to Liverpool through Fabinho as he passes this one to Roberto Firmino. Lots of defenders in front of him and Wilfred Ndidi dispossesses him, but then he gets dispossessed. And now it's an all of a sudden a counter-attack for Liverpool. It's Firmino. Now he passes it to Marino. Now to Thiago. And it's a very good save by Strakosha. 16 minutes into this one, it's a cross in for Jamie Vardy, but his head out is now Harvey Barnes it falls to. He tries a shot from way out, and it falls right to Soyuncu after that block, and now it's Ndidi. He finds Yuri Tielemans somehow onside. It's saved by Alisson the first time around, but Jamie Vardy off the rebound, puts this one into the back of the net, and more importantly, puts Leicester City in a position to possibly advance in the semi-finals of the goddamn Champions League. But soon enough, it's Roberto Firmino leading this attack for Liverpool as he's trying to find some space and pass it to someone. He gets it to Marino and Marino goes into the box. He's covered by Soyuncu. Soyuncu dispossesses him. Now it's to Harvey Barnes and Harvey Barnes could start up a count. <laughs> Re 
free kick for Liverpool as time is way over the injury time limit. It's Marino as he passes it to Mane. Mane holding up Tielemans. He then lobs it up to Thiago. Thiago with a good cross up to Roberto Firmino, but Wilfried Ndidi is there to head that one out. And now we go into the second half. It's Thiago floating this one up for Van Dijk, and he just misses the net. Liverpool on the attack once again. It's Fabinho this time. He finds Firmino and passes it to him. And now Firmino, he has no one to really pass to, but then he turns, finds Fabinho, and Fabinho passes this one to Marino. Back to Fabinho. Now it's Firmino with some space, and he finds the back of the net from way out. And now it's one all with Liverpool with an away goal. But that awoke in Leicester City as they have an attack now. It's Yuri Tielemans to Jamie Vardy. Vardy, no one in front of him, so he brings it back to Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans then gets tackled, but falls right to Jamie Vardy. Vardy then gets it to Ricardo Pereira. Back to Vardy. Vardy gets it to Wilfred Ndidi. Wilfred Ndidi picks out Yuri Tielemans all by himself, and Yuri Tielemans puts Leicester City back in front. It's 2-1 at King Power Stadium. The crowd goes mental, as it may look like we actually could get the upper hand here. Leicester City on another opportunity through the Sus King Daniel Potence, but he's dispossessed by Alexander Arnold. Now he passes it to Marino. Marino gets it to Aubameyang, links up with Thiago, back to Aubameyang, Aubameyang then gets it to Marino, lobs it up to Mo Salah, Mo Salah waiting for runners into the box, he then passes it back to Alexander-Arnold, now to Marino, who crosses this one in for an open Aubameyang, and now Liverpool have two away goals. Two goals aren't going to stop Leicester City though, it's the Sus King once again, out to Wilfred Ndidi, he gets this one to Jamie Vardy, now to Yuri Tielemans, it's now Minamino on the wing, Minamino then crosses this one up to Yuri Tielemans, and it's in the back of the net, but... It's offside. Now Liverpool again. It's Van Dijk. He passes it to Kimpembe. Kimpembe lobs this one up for Marino. And then he gets a touch to Mo Salah somehow. Mo Salah has a shot. It's saved by Strakosha. He has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is. And a chance for them to fall. Oh no. And now Liverpool have the opportunity to make it 3-2. And Mo Salah cleanly puts this one into the back of the net. It is 3-2 to Liverpool. Three away goals for Liverpool. And it's not looking great for us. And desperation just increases for Leicester City. We need something. And we're all out attack at this point. But that's that's enough for Liverpool just to hold on to the ball. Possession is their friend at this point. Aubameyang gets around Tielemans. Now passes it to Mo Salah. Out to Alexander-Arnold. Alexander-Arnold whips this one in for Aubameyang. And Aubameyang... A former Arsenal player has scored twice for Liverpool as a substitute. And yep, 4-2. And all hope was lost at this point, but it's Hernandez making a great tackle. And now with just a little bit of time left, it's a counterattack for Leicester City. Alexander Izak now to Minamino with a great ball. And Minamino, any goal could count here. Could we get this one? Uh... With my mood completely dead... We have Sheffield United. And you know, at least this is a way to bounce back after a pretty bad loss. It's Mendy, he passes it to Daniel Potence. The Sus King gets it to Alexander Izak. And Izak is just gonna bring this one into the top right corner. 1-0 to Leicester City, just like that. But Sheffield United on the attack in the ninth minute. Now it's Dennis taking on a bunch of defenders. He gets around James Glover first off. Then he passes this one to Norwood. Norwood finds a lovely ball back to Dennis. And Dennis, first time shot, first time finish. And that's into the back of the nets. It's one all. Now 29 minutes in, it's Leicester City on the offensive once again through Dennis Pratt as he passes this one to Alexander Izak. Fantastic footwork as he slips past the defender and finds the back of the net. 2-1 to Leicester City. Sheffield United once again, it's Dennis as he passes this one to Norwood. A little bit of a counter-attack for Sheffield United off a terrible mistake and now it's Dennis. That one's deflected off Ta and he just finds the back of the net off the rebound and it's 2 all. And it's once again just going back and forth. It's James Justin this time. He brings it to James Glover out to the side. King Daniel Potence. Daniel Potence now to Mendy. Mendy gets it to James Glover with a lovely ball. He finds Alexander Izak. Now back to the Sus King. And the Sus King with a beautiful through ball. An even better touch by Alexander Izak just to control that ball. And it's 3 2. And now 83 minutes played. Another opportunity for Leicester. This one to possibly just put this one to bed. It's Alexander Izak once again. He gets this one to Dennis Pratt. And now Dennis Pratt a little too far into the box. So he leads this one off to Minamino. And Minamino with a beautiful finish. And to the top left corner 4-2 to Leicester City and another three points and once again our undefeated record continues the second leg of the Champions League semi-finals against Liverpool all hope looks lost but there is still a very 
very slim chance that we could advance. But could the impossible be done? It's Leicester City on the attack just 15 minutes into this one. Hernandez running with the ball. He gets a good ball to Adria Pedrosa. And now Adria Pedrosa passes this one to James Masson. Masson with a ton of space to run into. Liverpool playing a dangerous game here as they just leave Jamie Vardy all by himself. And Jamie Vardy finds one already after just 17 minutes. It is game on. 31 minutes into this one. It's Liverpool on the attack now. It's Marino on the ball. He's getting a lot of pressure from Wilfred Ndidi, so he brings it down to Andrew Robertson. Robertson then gets a lot of pressure from Wilfred Ndidi, then loses it from Wilfred Ndidi. This gets to Cengiz Under now. Jamie Vardy on the ball. Jamie Vardy with a lovely ball, and it's Daniel Potence, the Sus King, finding himself in between the two defenders. Now he leaves this one off for Jamie Vardy, and it's 2-0 here at Anfield, and we just need one more goal. Liverpool started to close down shop, though. They were much more efficient on the defensive side of the ball, as now Liverpool find themselves on the attack. It's Origi. He holds on to this one. He then finds a lovely pass to Thiago, and Thiago has a shot, and it's Strakosha making a very vital save. Just five minutes remaining, and we still need ourselves one more goal. Hernandez with a good tackle, though, and another good tackle finds the ball to Minamino's feet, and Minamino has all this space to run into. He turns on those jets. He goes into the box. Then he leads it off to James Madison. Now to Yuri Tielemans. Am I crawling on my knees? And that's that. For all, and Liverpool would advance on away goals. We came so, so close. But in the end, we made a valiant effort, but it was just not enough. We will be back, though. I can tell you that. But hey, let's look at the positives. We're probably going to win the league. All we need is just one more win. And our next match is against Preston, by the way. So th that'll be pretty simple. Preston. Let's get this win. I want to lift the trophy. Throw in for Leicester City. 17 minutes in. It's Yuri Tielemans receiving this one from Cengiz Under. Now it's Wilfer Ndidi. He passes this one all the way back to Hernandez. Now to Pedrosa. To James Masson. Wilfer Ndidi. Lovely Leicester football, as you can see. Is now Yuri Tielemans linking up with Jamie Vardy. Now to James Masson. And James Masson finds the back of the net. It's 1 0 to Leicester City. And I can already smell the trophy from here. And now into the second half. It's once again Leicester City. It's Jamie Vardy this time. A lovely ball to Cengiz Under on this wing, and Cengiz Under is going to run right past the fullback. He tries to leave this one off for Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans then turns, finds the back of the net. 2-0 to Leicester City. It's done. We're getting this league title. But why not go for another goal, right? James Madison, he passes this one to Jamie Vardy, and Vardy has been on a bit of a goal drought in the Premier League. So now, could he get himself a goal that just closes this one and gives us the league title? It's Jamie Vardy, but he leaves it off to Yuri Tielemans, flips it off to Cengiz Under, and Cengiz Under finalizes it. 3-0. And the referee has blown for full time. It's official now. The champions have been crowned. Absolutely top of the pile. That's all you can do when you start off pre-season. You see this moment in your mind's eye. They've got their brilliant season. It really has been. The goal to be the best team in the league. And they've hit the target. Well, Derek, there'll be definitely times this season where the form has dropped, we've had injuries, etc. Almost seems like a pipe dream to look at these moments now. But they'll celebrate long into the night, I'm sure. Well, memories, memories for players in these situations, Lee. Well, it's always nice to win any trophy, cup competitions, but... When you win your own domestic league, that to me is the pinnacle of being a player. Yeah, the table does not lie. And so, the league champions. Yeah, brilliant, they deserve it. They really have been the best team this season. And that's where you end up, top of the pile. And not by accident either. All part of the master plan. And the trophy is theirs. Well, this is the best moment for me, sharing things with the fans. They've deserved everything they've got this season. The players have, but certainly the supporters. They've given the players absolutely 100% support all season. And this is their reward. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time.
Well, to win any league, Derek, you have to have consistency, you have to be dynamic, demanding of your teammates. They've been all that and more. Congratulations. Would certainly echo those sentiments, Lee. You are looking at the league champions. Blackburn, and six minutes into this one, already a chance with the backup squad, it's Mendy out to Minamino, he sees an open Daniel Potence, and the Sus King is gonna find the back of the net once again, Leicester City's up 1-0, just like that, and a little bit later, a mistake forced by Dennis Pratt, and now it's an easy counter-attack for Leicester City, Alexander Izak with just the keeper to beat, and of course he's gonna find the back of the net, 2-0, and then a little bit later once again, it's Alexander Izak finding himself another goal through a header on a corner, typical, and one more chance to possibly make it four. It's Alexander Izak. He gets this one all the way to Takumi Minamino, and Minamino has all the space to run into. A little bit very much similar to the Liverpool chance, but he finds the back of the net on this one. It's 4-0. And Blackburn with an opportunity in the 80th minute. It's Buckley here as he lobs this one up to Atanga, and Atanga heads this one down to Viola. Viola now back to Buckley, and Buckley passes this one back to Viola, and there's one goal back for Blackburn. But does it really matter? No, we still win 4-1. And now our final match of of the Premier League season, we are still undefeated. Can we maintain that undefeated record and become the new Invincibles? And 46 minutes into this one, it's a chance for Leicester City. It's Adria Pedrosa. He passes it to the Sus King, and the Sus King with a good ball back to Adria Pedrosa, who then is just going to whip this one and floating it in for Jamie Vardy. 1 0 to Leicester City, just like that. But in come Manchester United, dispossessing one of our players. It's now Marcus Rashford out to Richarlison, but that hits the post, and now Leicester. City clear that one out. It falls to Yuri Tielemans now. Tielemans then gets the ball to Wilfred Ndidi. Ndidi is going to use the vision of a sniper and pick out Daniel Ponens, the Sus King. And Daniel Ponens, the Sus King, going to use that pace and slot it into the net. 2-0 to Leicester City. And yes, we actually do go undefeated. Say hello to your new Invincibles, the Leicester City team of 21-22. And now, the final match of the season. Liverpool in the FA Cup Final. Could we get ourselves the double and more importantly since this is Liverpool can we get a bit of revenge? Well, early on into this one, it's Liverpool with an opportunity. It's Mo Salah whipping this one in, but it's headed out by Ricardo Pereira. Now it falls to the Liverpool player. Fabinho now on the ball. Fabinho leaves it off to Wendell, and Wendell goes into the box. Wolfer and Didi covering him. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty is in. <sighs> Osala once again on the penalty, and this one is saved by Strakosha. He goes the same way he did in the Champions League final, and thank God I trusted my instincts there. Liverpool with a throw in now, it's Mane to Salah, the two wingers linking up here on the same wing, but then Mane is dispossessed. A little bit of a counter-attack chance for Leicester City. Look at the space we have. It's just Jamie Vardy versus Sergio Ramos, and he's gonna beat him easily. He leaves this one off for Daniel Potence, the sus king, and signing of the year. Sus King Daniel Potence makes it 1-0 in the FA Cup Final. And now Liverpool off a free kick with Robertson, but he makes an awful mistake. It falls right to Jamie Vardy, and now it's Cengiz Under lobs this one up over the top through ball, right over Van Dijk's head, and it's Jamie Vardy to finish that one. It's 2-0 to Leicester City after just 20 minutes. But then Liverpool really started to pick up the pace. It's Robertson. He passes it to Mane. Mane lobs this one up to Robertson. Robertson trying to find some space across in for Mo Salah, and Mo Salah heads this one over the bar. And into the second half we go, it's Liverpool again with a chance. It's Fabinho. He heads this one down to Firmino. Now it's Alexander-Arnold. This one's blocked, but he gets it right back. And now Alexander-Arnold trying to find some space. He crosses this one in for Sadio Mane, but it's headed out. Corner flowed in by Mo Salah. Can he find anyone? He finds Ricardo Pereira's head. And now this one is cleared out. And Liverpool have a throw and another opportunity to find something here as it's Wendell, he gets it to Fabinho, and Fabinho back to Wendell, now to Origi, Origi, he sees a running Alexander-Arnold with some space to run into, now he whips this one in for Mane all by himself, and Mane gets one back for Liverpool, it's game on, fast forward to the 82nd minute, and it's Thiago with a fantastic ball over the top to Sadio Mane, and Sadio Mane sees the run of Origi in the box, he whips this one in for Hernandez with a great header to force the corner. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players.
Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, it's these moments, Derek, when you get your hands on the silverware and that little medal that goes round your neck might seem small now, but you'll look back at that. Show your grandkids absolutely superb memories these players will have of this game. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Yeah, it's been a long old road to get to this point. They're going to celebrate now and certainly celebrate long into the night, I think. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. And this is really special. Getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team. Now they get to join in the celebrations, go into the crowd and give them the cup. That's what I say. Well, then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet, Lee. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, you know exactly where I'd be sitting in that photo, don't you, Derek? <laughs> I think I've heard it before, Lee. <laughs> Straight at the front. And that is season two done. Somehow, we went undefeated the entire season. 32 wins, six draws, zero losses. I have no idea how this happened, but 102 points, a goal differential of 84, we scored 105 goals this season. The thing with this team is they're very overpowered, but to be undefeated? I, I don't know, man. But to round off the top six, it's us winning the league for the second time in our history. Then Manchester City in second with 89 points, Liverpool in third with 88, fourth Manchester United rounding off the Champions League positions. 5th Tottenham with 72 points, and 6th Chelsea with a very, very disappointing season. A look at the teams going down next season. West Brom, who we beat 8-0. Uh, I mean, yeah, makes sense. Then we have Preston, 19th. Blackburn Rovers, 20th. Let's go see who could possibly be going up. So Fulham and Crystal Palace will definitely be going up with that automatic promotion. Then it's either Brighton, Norwich, Derby County, or Brentford that we'll be seeing in the Premier League next season as well. Looking at the Premier League top scorers, Alexander Izak won this battle with 27 goals in 32 appearances. A very impressive season for him. Also a very impressive season once again for Jamie Vardy, who didn't have the 50 goals like last time, but he did play less matches and had 22 goals still in 31 matches. That is still a number that could win the golden boot. On the assist column, once again, Leicester City dominated this. It's not just one player making all the plays, it is quite literally the entire goddamn team. James Madison had 12, Yuri Tielemans 11, Jamie Vardy 10, Harvey Barnes 10, the Sus King himself, 9. Wilfred Ndidi, 7. Alexander Izak as well, 7. Dennis Pratt with 6 assists. It's literally everyone on the team contributing. Clean sheets wise, Tomas Dracosha had 19 and had the most clean sheets in the Premier League in his first season. So a job well done for him. Second place was Ederson with 17 clean sheets. Then finally third, Ali Stone with 15. Top scorers in the FA Cup, this was no match whatsoever. Alexander Izak won this with flying colors. 12 goals in 5 matches. This man was truly insane. In our return back to the Champions League, it was Jamie Vardy capturing the golden boot in the Champions League with 11 goals and 11 matches. So well done to Jamie Vardy, he really shows that age doesn't mean anything. The eventual winners of the Champions League went to Liverpool 2-1 against Barcelona, so I guess once again we are beat by the team that would win it all. Ah yes, and now my favorite part of every series, the part where I just have to put voice clips on images, it's wonderful. I love this job so much, I couldn't even see myself jumping off my balcony. So anyways, Alexander Izak, once again, like I said before, man was incredible this season. 47 goals, 8 assists, and just 52 appearances. 
and he's only 22. Jamie Vardy at 35 years old, he actually upgraded this time around, going up to an 87 rating. And he also had 40 goals and 13 assists. Yuri Tielemans, another fantastic season for him, 88 rated he is now, 12 goals, 11 assists in the Premier League, 6 assists in the Champions League, really good campaign for him. Harvey Barnes, who got injured later into the season, still a great season for him. 7 goals, 10 assists in the Premier League with a 7.4 average rating, 5 goals in the Champions League, and all 5 of those goals were absolutely vital. Cengiz Sundar, I would say he did alright, you know, 7 goals, 5 assists in the Premier League, James Masson again with a great season, 10 goals, 23 assists, the Sus King Daniel Potens, probably signing of the season, he had 7 goals and 9 assists in the Premier League, which are actually better numbers than Cengiz Sundar now that I see that. Takumi Minamino, our fellow Asian boy, he had 8 goals, 5 assists, two assists in the Champions League. He's a very good backup. James Glover, I honestly expected a little bit more from him, but the fact that our midfield is so stacked, he just doesn't get as many opportunities. So still, you know, two goals, six assists in the Premier League. Impressive. Ricardo Pereira, he improved quite a bit. 27 clean sheets, two assists in 50 appearances. Good job to him. Wilfred Ndidi, also known as God himself, 91 rated he is now he is so insane i can't even stress that he had a very important goal in the champions league against atleti and he also had two assists with that the man continues to grow he's almost immortal at this point nothing can stop him dennis pratt a bit of an off season but still one goal nine assists not bad adria pedrosa who got injured early on into the season Bounced back quite a bit though, with 3 assists and 18 clean sheets and 29 appearances. Timothy Castagna, who was replacing Adria Pedrosa for a while, also did pretty well. 3 assists, 11 clean sheets. I just don't know if he's going to play as much next season, but still, a very good backup nonetheless. Somehow, Chalar Soyuncu only grew one rating, even though I thought he actually had a pretty decent season. Lucas Hernandez, in his first season at Leicester City, very impressive. Tomas Stokosha, very much an improvement from Kasper Schmeichel, with 24 clean sheets and 47 appearances, and a ton of great saves. The man's 87 rated, made amazing saves, and I can only see him getting better. Jonathan Ta somehow grew more than Soyuncu. I have no idea how this happened, but then again, it's FIFA and FIFA's broken. James Justin, uh, I'm kind of giving up on him at this point. Wesley Fofana, the forgotten backup, but 76 rated he grew to, and 6 clean sheets and 18 appearances. You're not going to do very well with the partnership of him and Jonathan Ta. It, it's just not going to happen. Gosh, Rich Michael didn't really play that much, but I mean, 6 clean sheets and 12 appearances. Not bad. Harvey Bourne, 2 clean sheets and 5 appearances. I mean, this is a keeper that I thought would be the future, but he's just turned out to be a bit of a bum. And here is the final squad before we go into Season 3. It is such a beautiful, solid squad we have here. I mean, just look at the midfield, for example. That is a triad that I would never give up. Top 5 players though so definitely number one would be Wilfred Ndidi he's just so good all around he's quick enough to track back and just tackle anyone that's making an advancement toward our defense and not to mention he has such good vision second place would probably have to be Alexander Izak it's hard to choose because you know you have Izak and then Vardy but I think Izak did a little bit better than Jamie Vardy uh, overall and then of course third place Jamie Vardy 11 goals in the Champions League you just cannot sleep on that but again 22 in the Premier League another fantastic season for him third place is kind of hard but i'm gonna have to give this one to james madison who had 12 assists in the league eight in the champions league incredible player and then probably fifth place would have to go to yuri tielemans yuri tielemans is another player so solid he can do pretty much anything and so that is season two unfortunately we didn't make it to the champions league final so we'll have to go through an entire grueling season three That'll be fun, now won't it? But the Season 3 opener, I was thinking of doing it this Saturday, but I've decided to push to next Saturday because I have some plans to make some other different videos. It's November, so, you know, FIFA hype is starting to maybe increase just a little more, so I want to make maybe different videos and see how they do. You know, you always want to, like, reach out towards other audiences and expand your growth, so, you know, I'm trying here. But that means the Season 3 opener will be out November 14th, 12 p.m. EST, 5 p.m. BST, obviously that's how it always is. I honestly thought we were going to go all the way because, I mean, just looking at the momentum we had, it seemed like we were going to do it, but unfortunately enough, we choked against Liverpool and now we face the punishment. But anyways, guys, November 14th, 
don't forget, and I'll see you guys then. Oh,